Okay, firstly, please excuse this. I'm having a very bad hair day and my skin is awful at the moment. Secondly, I've already recorded this video once and then realised I never actually pressed record, so I'm having a really good day. Today's video is all about February's My Little Box, My Little French Box. As you can tell, it is French themed. As always, the box is absolutely adorable. They're always so, so cute. And the picture that came on the outer box this month says, being unafraid of not being liked is the best way to be liked. And the lady who they have collaborated with, I can't pronounce her name, so I'm gonna put it right here. You've got the ribbon and the card. The ribbon is adorable. It's got the lady's name all over it and it is French themed, really, really cute with all the French colors. The card that you get every month says, life is never what it seems and that's the great thing about it. Then you get the magazine. As always, there are recipes and hairstyles and makeup tips inside here. I love those little magazines. And then you get to the goodies. Okay, so this month you get this is a little smartphone case. Obviously this is not, this is a box. But inside the box is a smartphone case. The case itself looks like this. Really, really sweet. All of the French flag colours. And it's the sort of one that you pop up like this and then pull the tab and your phone kind of appears like magic. Um, I love this. I've actually used it since, I've, since I got the box. Um, because I don't have a case on my phone at the moment, so this has been absolutely perfect just to throw my phone in here so I can throw it in my bag and not worry that it's going to get scratched or broken or anything like that. And it's just really, really cute. Then you get this little cutie, which is probably my favourite thing I've ever got in a My Little Box. And it's this little, t this little tin, not tin, tub. This little thing here, a little cork in the top. And then there's little bits of paper inside. And then on each little bit of paper is either like a motivational quote or a beauty tip or I'll read some to you. As all good things come to an end, why don't we start with the dessert? Is anyone else like me? They'd rather have a starter and a main rather than a main and a dessert. I don't really have a sweet tooth. A beauty trick. After washing your hair, rinse it with three tablespoons of white wine vinegar, diluted it in a bowl of water. Can someone tell me why I should do that? What does that do? Be yourself and you'll always be who you want to be. I think this little thing is adorable to maybe sit on your bedside table or on your dressing table just to give you a bit of a pick-me-up if you're having a bad day or you can read one when you get up or you can read one before you go to bed, that sort of thing. I am a big fan of like motivation and inspirational quotes as you can probably tell if you follow me on Instagram. Then on to the beauty bit. And the first thing here is the DHC and these are oil blocking papers. I've never used anything like this before. I don't really, I don't really um, have oily skin at all. But I think it would be really good in the summer when you start to get a bit sweaty. Um, really cute to throw in your bag and just use on a day-to-day -day basis. They're in a really cute little box. I think I haven't actually opened it. Let's open it. If I can open it, how do I open it? There we go. So they're in a really cute little box, and I think you pull this out. Yeah, and there they are. Just little sheets of paper. Then there is an, a waterproof crayon eyeliner by by, by Terry. <laughs> um, I haven't got an eyeliner in every single beauty box I think for the last two or three months and I really don't use eyeliner but I think this one would be perfect if I wanted to do maybe a really really simple smoky eye where I just wanted to use an eyeliner and um, this smudges smudges yeah so this smudges really really nicely and easily and in the actual stick itself there is gold glitter so it adds a really nice sparkle so it's perfect for if you want it for say like a night out or something like that it's simple but with a little bit of sparkle then like every month there is their my little beauty product and this one is like a tinted moisturizer kind of thing it says on the back a light face tint for girls on the go who want a glowing complexion complexion in seconds enriched with antioxidants rich elderwise flower and nourishing apricot oil known for its softening pri priorities no to use apply a pea sized amount with fingers the cream itself is very, very pink. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Yeah, probably. And no, I've just got that everywhere now. Thanks. Thanks. This would be perfect for those days where you don't really want to wear any makeup, but you just want to pop something on your skin. I don't know about you, but I'm very much like that. I really don't like my skin. It's quite red, and um, I haven't got anything on it. 
and this adds a really really nice pinky kind of glow to the skin really really nice finish really simple and quick and easy to use I've been really enjoying all their like my little beauty products they're always big hits for me so and then lastly there is a product from L'Oreal in here and it is their brow artist plumper it is obviously an eyebrow gel Ta-da! And it is a transparent one, which I've been actually wanted to get ho get hold of a transparent eyebrow gel for a while. I've been using the um, one for benefit. The name of it has completely gone out of my mind. Um, and obviously that is a tinted one, whereas this one is transparent. And my eyebrows are in a complete state at the moment, and are desperate to be tamed. Um, but I've really been liking this. It's kept them set all day, and they tend to decide to go in random directions wherever they want. But this has held them strong throughout the day, and I really, really like it. The only thing I don't like about this is how long the wand is. I don't know about you, but when I do my eyebrows, I like to get in quite close, and you just I just feel really far away with this like I don't really have much control but apart from that I really really like it and that is everything that is in February's My Little Box update on Glossy Box I am going to be unsubscribing to Glossy Box um, I just found out spending the money every month and getting the box and opening it up and having a look inside and then just popping the products back inside the box shutting the box and put it on a pile of other boxes um, I just feel like it's a bit of a waste of money so what I'm going to do is every month I'm going to go on the website take a look to see what's inside the box and then order it if I like it rather than paying it monthly and then getting the box and not doing anything with any of the products in it but as always if you're looking for these box I highly recommend this my little box it is best of both worlds really you get beauty products that are amazing really really good brands but then you also get the little trinkety things that you can keep forever and I'm a big fan of that so if you are new here please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss another video and give it a thumbs up Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. The links are down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I actually recorded this one too.